These are all different configurations of the Marlin semi-automatic 22 long rifles, uh, 795 or the Model 60. This is an open sight 795 stainless steel. Uh, it's a real light little gun, easy to handle. Anybody could carry it. It weighs about 4.1 pounds. Uh, this is a Model 60 tubular fed. You put your bullets in the tube in the end of it. It does not have a clip in it. It has a red dot optic on it. I really like my vision is not what it used to be. And when you throw it up and see the red dot and pull the trigger, that's where your bullet's going to hit. That is a, an excellent little weapon. Uh, this 795 stainless steel, here's one I've configured for myself same gun. I've just put a scope on it. I've also put a light on it. If you're going to go coon hunting or anything you're going to hunt of a night, this works real well. You can put your sling on. You'll see I've run my sling through here. You can configure these guns however you want to. They're, they're going to be yours once you buy one. But I run my sling through there and run it out and hooked it in the bottom. You can get that, pull it over your head. That gun will hang comfortably for you to walk through the woods or walk wherever you're wanting to walk. And if you do see something that you're wanting to shoot, all you have to do is pull it up. You don't have to take it off. You can turn your light on. Uh, that light you can get a little bit of short light and put on there, or you can put one of these on there. This light here will burn about 16 hours constant. It will illuminate out to about 75 yards. It, it is a real, real good little hunting gun if you're going to be hunting in the night. Okay. Here is a blue steel 795. Same gun this is, only it's blue steel instead of stainless steel. It has a 3 by 9 power variable uh, BSA scope on it with a bullet drop compensator. It's the Sweet Series. They call it a Sweet 22. It has side parallax on it for blur. has the quick eye relief on it. I really like these little scopes on here. Uh, if you have a range finder, you set this scope at 25 yards. If you're going to shoot something at 150 yards, you just turn the turret to 150 yards and hold your crosshairs right on it. Once again, this gun, when you get done shooting it, when it's empty, that will stay back. You can take that clip out, pull the clip out of your handle, put it back in it, push the button, it will recharge it. You've got 10 more shots readily available. You still can put you a box of shells or whatever you want in the butt plate. This does come with this optional scope mount. If you're going to put a powered scope on it, you don't need the scope mount if you're going to mount a red dot optics on it. But for eye relief, you will have to have the scope mount. You take your front or rear sight, you just knock it out with something that's not going to mar your barrel, any piece of plastic or piece of wood. Screw this down on here, and that will line it up with your barrel. Then you have a little piece right here, dovetail, that will slide in where your front sight or rear sight came off, and there's an Allen head screw. Once you get this on and it's lined up, you just look down through the hole there, and there's threads. You can screw your screw right into it, and that secures it to your barrel and your action. Then you can mount your scope anywhere on this scope mount. This is my own little gun. You can carry it. You can set your uh, any kind of a sling you want to put on it. Uh, for squirrel hunting, I usually carry this one. I took this gun. Uh, like I say, it's my own personal gun. I've had the barrel shortened to 16 inches. That's the legal length. 16 and a quarter inches, actually, is what this one is. Uh, I've got a 4 by 12 Bushnell scope on it. It works really well. Uh, 
It has the uh, focus on the end, quick eye relief. This is your parallax, so if your most rifle scopes are parallax at 100 yards, most 22 scopes are parallax at about 50 yards. If you're shooting a scope that doesn't have the parallax adjustment on it and you're closer than what it's parallaxed at, if you move your head up or down, you will have crosshair crawl in it. Therefore, it's not going to be accurate at a lower range. If you have the parallax adjustment on it, you turn it until it gets clear. That takes away your crosshair crawl because it parallaxes it at whatever range you're shooting at. I just throw that in. That won't cost you any extra. But that's, you can make a neat little gun out of a, a fairly cheap gun, but Marlin makes an excellent gun in my opinion. They have the micro groove barrels. Uh, you can shoot a group at uh, 25 yards with them. Uh, you can cover 3 eighths, 3 eighths of an inch. I can shoot a 3 eighths of an inch group, fairly regular uh, five shot group with them. And I don't know why you'd want anything to shoot any better than that. These guns are uh, well under $200, any of them. Uh, I think right now, last year you could buy them for $139, probably right now they're around $159. Uh, since the election, but I think you'll really like these little guns because they're so light, so easy to handle, and once you put them on this stock, they are an excellent little hunting machine. Uh, that's all i got today. Thank you.